This month, 120 years ago, saw the birth of a true sporting great. Finland's Pavo Nurmi would go on to redefine middle and long distance running during the interwar period, setting countless world records and picking up nine Olympic gold medals along the way. Nurmi's story began here in the city of Turku on Finland's southwest coast. Born on June the 13th, 1897 into a poor family, Nurmi was forced to leave school aged 12 to work in a bakery following the death of his father. The one bedroom apartment in Turku that Pavo shared with his parents and four siblings is now a museum commemorating his life and achievements. John Virtanen was instrumental in the founding of the Pavo Nurmi Heritage Society. Pavo Nurmi was a great man, and nobody should forget his achievements. He's a national hero in Finland, and we haven't had an icon like him since. Throughout his life, he was a great ambassador for our country, and the legend of Pavo Nurmi must be kept alive. That legend was forged mainly through Nurmi's relationship with the Olympic Games. At his first appearance in Antwerp in 1920, he picked up three gold medals and one silver. But a runner-up spot in the 5,000 meters disappointed Pavo so much that he formulated a new racing strategy. He would plan his races in advance, calculating the time needed for victory and setting his pace accordingly. All that Pavo needed was his stopwatch. He didn't concern himself with what his competitors were doing because he wasn't racing against them. Nunami's race was a race against time. The strategy proved a huge success, and by the time of the 1924 Olympics in Paris, Nurmi had been unbeaten for almost three years. In an effort to prevent him winning too many medals, the 1500 and 5000 meters were scheduled to take place within an hour of each other. Undeterred, the Finns stormed to victory over the shorter distance before edging out compatriot Villritola to win the longer race less than two hours later. Further victories came in both the individual and team cross-country and in the 3,000-meter team event, as Nurmi took home five gold medals. That haul of five athletics goals at a single Olympics is a record which still stands to this day. Those triumphs made the Flying Finn one of the world's most famous sportsmen. His final gold medal came along with two silvers in Amsterdam four years later, but he was controversially barred from the 1932 games in Los Angeles due to doubts over his amateur status. Nurmi retired from his sport in 1934 and began a business career, eventually becoming one of Finland's richest men, thanks to construction and finance. His son, Mati, was born in 1933 and recalled what made his father such a success on and off the track. He was always a highly motivated person. He worked extremely hard throughout his life and demanded a lot of himself and others. That was his most basic principle. He was also highly intelligent, which helped him to outthink his competitors. After a 24-year absence, Normi made a surprise return to the Olympic stage when Helsinki hosted the Summer Games of 1952. Finland's greatest ever Olympian was handed the honor of lighting the cauldron in front of a delighted crowd. Pavel Normi died in 1973 at the age of 76.